Yo, what up? Thank you guys so much for joining me today and stopping by. Big shout out to all of the luxury stars out there, man, for smashing that like button and subscribing. So I'm just going to dive right into it. These Decepticons over there at Sony are crying like a little baby. <laughs> And it's about time that they're getting a taste of their own medicine. Now, it's okay for Jim Ryan to lock down every exclusive that everybody wants to play on Xbox. But whenever Xbox does it and clap back and lock down Call of Duty, it's an uproar. Stop. Please stop. This man is crying, begging. Jim Ryan is... <laughs> He went to Phil Spencer's mom house. <laughs> They're having dinner. They're having dinner tonight. He's begging everybody right now, bro. I'm talking about this guy is going all out right now. He is begging on his knees, pleading, crying. <laughs> Please, somebody stop. Stop the Activision Call of Duty deal. Please, this guy have lost his marbles. I'm talking about this Decepticon is going all out right now. Because of one thing, he's finally getting a taste of his own medicine. Like, nobody has ever put Sony in their place like this before. So, they don't know how it feels to actually get knocked off the map by something. Like, they don't know. They, they, they have always been knocking everybody off the map. Like, look at Sega. You know? Look at the Xbox One generation. They always been knocking everybody else off the map. So now that Xbox is back and in charge and they have Microsoft. Bill Gates got long money. Uncle Phil over there got long money at Xbox. Sony is crying a river right now. Right now, can you hear it? Just listen. Can you hear Jim Ryan right now crying? I'm pretty sure if you listen hard enough, you can hear him screaming to the tip top of his lungs right now. Please, somebody help. Help me. Help me. <laughs> I mean, he is crying to the board of UK. He's going to Brazil crying. Now, see, this is this is the, the issue that all of the, the gaming community have with Jim right now. Yeah. Because I've been seeing what's going down in these gaming streets. Watching all these blogs and vlogs and all these big YouTubers and content creators on Twitter, every, everywhere. Every, this is just a big inadequate, <laughs> it's a trend right now. <laughs> this dude does not want this deal to go through. Like, I don't know what Phil over there did at Xbox to get under his skin, but Jim cannot take it over there at Sony's front office. Sony is losing their marbles right now. Like, they are going crazy. I, I never seen Sony act like this. Like, for, for real, for real. Like, they, they are acting like little kids right now over there at Sony. They are acting so childish and immature. Like, it's okay for them to lock down Spider-Man, Final Fantasies, Wolverine, all of those, all of those AAA bangers over there on Sony now. And they have numbers and numbers and numbers of triple. I'm talking about boatloads of exclusives over there on Sony. That's that's what made PlayStation the exclusives. So now all it took, all it took was Call of Duty to shut Jim Ryan up and make him cry like a little baby. It, this is, is this what it's coming to now? Like really, this, this is like a grown man over there crying at Sony. I'm talking about yelling and screaming at everybody. Like, what are we gonna do now? It's a few things that can maybe help this out. It maybe help this situation out. And I came across a couple of uh, good, you know, good point of views, or good opinions out there. Now we do have some very intelligent content creators out here in the gaming community, right? And they were saying, okay, so Jim said there's nothing out there that can compete with Call of Duty, right? Right or wrong. Now, he said this out of his own mouth. He was like, yo, there's nothing that we can make that can compete with Call of Duty. Like, in, in the next five to seven years time span. Like, now, nope. Xbox have gave this guy so much time. They gave him like three to seven years or something to come up with something, to come up with a plan. Now, a lot of people are saying, Sony, just compete. All you have to do is bring like two or three great studios. Like I think there was like a Gorilla and um, Naughty Dog or something. Get get some of your most talented. Even if you had to go get Santa Monica, even if you got to go get 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 God of War and and Uncharted, the creators and and Last of Us, whoever, put them together, put them on a first person shooter. You have another at least three to four years, right? 
that's how long it's gonna take to make another AAA banger first person shooter game. Bring Killzone back. Re just remake Killzone. Ain't that's what that's what you do? You remake and remaster games? So remake Killzone, but give it next gen quality graphics. Change the mechanics around, make it more of a Call of Duty type first person shooter game. Or if you wanna make it third person as well, have the option to do both. Remake, remaster the game. Just make it way better. Change it around. You can you can call it kill zone and pretty much copy and paste the game into the, all of the new engines that we have. We have Unreal Engine fives out there now. That's amazing. The quality, the graphics, the mechanics. You can change everything around on Kill Zone. We we would have to do a popular game. It can't be a, a new game really come out because it's, it may not catch the crowd. So you would have to bring like a Soulcom or, or a Resistance. You have to bring something back, but you, ha you have to make it a day one. You would have to make it a day one on everything. Either they can buy it for $70 or you can get it on PlayStation Plus Premium, PlayStation Plus. This game will have to be able to be in so many people's hands in order to compete. There's no more locking down first person shooters for, for Sony. They can't lock this game down because it won't touch enough people console and you can't lock it down to exclusive to just come on ps5 it can't be exclusive it had to be on ps4 pc and playstation 5 okay so that would just nip that in the butt right there you can't just make it so oh we want that next gen we believe in generation is just going to come to ps5 and you think it's going to be able to compete with call of duty you're dead wrong it's not going to happen decepticon it's not going to happen i'm sorry okay you have to make it reachable to a large audience. They have to be on cloud gaming. They need to make an app for mobile as well. If they want to get in mobile gaming, right? They, they just bought a studio for mobile for mobile gaming. You're crying about Call of Duty so bad. Bro, you have to do something now. You can't just sit here. What are you going to cry for the next three years? Are they really? Is, is Jim, Jim Ryan going to really sit at Sony front office and just lock himself in the room and just cry for the next three or four years about this? Like, is it going to stop or is it going to continue to cry instead of do something like compete? What happened to the old Sony that we we grew to love as, as young kids and we grew up on playing PlayStation? What happened to the 90s and early 2000s Sony that that fight to the end that that's going to make something that's going to be creative? How do you think we got God of War? How do you think we got Uncharted Horizon by being creative? Being creative, what started the exclusive trend? By being creative. Okay, well how, how hard is that? Okay, now you're getting a taste of your own medicine. At least, now see, that's one thing I can say that Xbox did great and, and a business from the, the business um, perspective of it. Pretty much, they gave Sony a warning that, hey, in three years it's gone. Now, did we get a warning about Spider-Man just gonna get kidnapped and held hostage on PlayStation and stolen? That's not even their IP. Did, did we get a warning though? I just wanna know that question. Did we get a warning about Spider-Man Wolverine? Did we say, okay, in the next three years now, Spider-Man will no longer be, so be prepared for this. We're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna buy a studio. Even if even if Xbox didn't have a studio to make Spider-Man, but it still could have came. Okay, you put it on PC now, so clearly it could have came to Xbox, right? Clearly, but you wanted that exclusive to you know PS4 and PS5 because you know that brings value. You know that would bring value. That would make people go out and spend that extra seventy bucks, right? It to go purchase something a big, a big superhero title like AAA banger like Spider Man, right? Those Decepticons at Sony knew that. That's why they made it exclusive. So what? What is the problem if Call of Duty goes exclusive to Xbox? That's the only point I was trying to make. It's okay if Sony does it because they've been doing it for so long. You know. You know, you got stuff like, I think, Persona and all those other games that's exclusive. Spider-Man, Persona, things like that. Maybe they're on PC now, and some of them may come to Xbox. But if, at first, it was a great idea a few years back, around 2017, 2018, to just make Spider-Man and all of these exclusive games. They're doing these little backdoor deals with um, Square Enix. Square Enix is a little, you know, they're a little shady as well. I don't like how they're doing these little, they, they pick and choose what games they 
want to come to Xbox. They hit Sony up first. Hey, do you want us to make, you know, Sony get with them, they get with Sony. They're in bed together anyways. Both of them are ugly. So they get they get together at a table and they decide what games okay, which game is going to bring more value to the PS5 that we can lock down. Like for example, Deathloop, Ghostwire Tokyo. Why are those games locked down anyways? Those aren't those aren't Final Fantasy type games, but why are they locked down to one plastic box? And it's so many people, the creators can't really show their talent if those exclusives that's trying to grow are being locked down before they even sprout, you know? And if it was and if it was a backdoor deal that's done for Sony, did a backdoor deal, say, hey, we want this to be our IP, we want you guys to make it, that's a little different. You can't go steal Spider-Man, hold him hostage, to a plastic box and force seventy dollars down people's throat, and then you're going to do a price hike on PlayStation Fives. Then you're going to go back and steal money from your customers, from your from your diehard fan base, and make them look like they're the people that's actually doing you wrong because you're bringing them quality, but you're not giving them value because you you don't even focus on PlayStation Plus Premium. So how are you bringing your fans? How how are you exchanging money for value if you're not bringing things that we're asking for? And you're not competing you're not even competing you 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 flat out told the sony fan base sony fans and fanboys and sony ponies you told them that we're not going to even try to compete with call of duty we're gonna make we're gonna make remakes like last of us we're gonna still make those triple a bangers like god of war but we're not gonna still not gonna target that multiplayer first person shooter type game we're not gonna direct it towards xbox because once call of duty is gone that's pretty much first person shooters are gonna die on playstation there's no that they just don't want to go in that direction i don't know why it's like they rather choose third party multiplats triple a bangers that's bringing them a free 30 percent of revenues that they don't even have to spend out their own pocket because they're too cheap and they're making a cheaper playstation 5 and charge their fan base more to purchase that item do and we're in the inflate innocent inflation going on out here in these gaming streets and you're gonna tell me that that's okay that sony's doing that I said, I'm just making it make sense, bro. These Decepticons don't care about you. Do you see where I'm going with this? They don't want to compete, but they want to pretend like they're bringing you value, but they don't want to upgrade PlayStation Plus Premium to compete with Game Pass because it's going to cost them too much money up front to make the servers. To, to pretty much bring you day ones to PlayStation Plus. We don't want to do it. They're, so they're going to go in there and lock themselves up in Sony back front office room and cry about it. Why are you going to take away Call of Duty? You know we don't like spending our own money. You know this, man. You know we don't like spending our own money. You know this. <laughs> why, would, why would I spend my own money when I can steal yours and spend your money? I want to spend Red's money. I don't want to spend my money, my own money. I told you they're selfish. They're 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 lying, scheming, greedy, grimy Sony that have turned on their own fan base for money. They traded in. They're, they they don't have what's the word I'm looking for, man. When somebody is just they just keeps it real with the fan base, and you know. They, they, they don't keep it real with the fan base, man. It's a word that I'm looking for. It's right at the tip of my tongue. But they don't keep it real with the fan base, you know. And that's why I want to bring you guys value, you know, to your console, to your gaming experience. If you have a PC and you would like to jump into the PlayStation ecosystem, the PlayStation Plus ecosystem, or the Microsoft Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, ecosystem click the link in the description guys that way it can at least help you guys get into the ecosystem i know a lot of you guys out there want a ps5 but clearly they're not going to make enough this whole entire generation is going to be jacked up with ps5s due to scalpers playstation trying to make them cheaper and overcharge people with purchasing them 
online or doing walk-ins like Walmart, Best Buy, or or Amazon's. If you order them online on Amazon's or Targets or GameStop, whichever whichever place you choose. So I'm trying to bring gamers. I'm trying to bring us together at least on PC platform. Now I can't do much about Xbox or Playstations, but I can try to help the PC community out. And if you have a PC or a laptop or maybe even a Mac, yeah, I'm pretty sure you still can play um, because you can sign on through your browser on Microsoft Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, or you can download the app, the PlayStation app to your uh, desktop or laptop, and you can scream, live scream PlayStation Plus Premium Games. You can play Miles Morales right now on your um your playstation i say your playstation <laughs> your pc <laughs> but you can jump into the playstation ecosystem on your pcs if you have one so to later on man we're gonna jump into some more topics but it's just so juicy because it's just so funny to see a grown man up there at playstation front office just crying like a little baby i'm talking about look i'm just a messenger and I'm just, I'm just letting you guys know what's going down in these gaming streets. And thank you so much for all the luxury stars out there, man, that smashing that like button and subscribe button so I can keep you guys updated because I like doing this for you guys, man. I know it's a lot of people probably feel like I'm more so on Xbox side or PC or Nintendo, but it's not really about that. It's about Sony's just not treating their fan base right. And I, and I like to stand for what's right. And I just see that they're, they're dropping the ball right now with PlayStation. They're just, they're just slowly destroying growing the PlayStation brand and I don't like it and I grew up playing PlayStation and, and grew to love PlayStation AAA bangers just like everyone else and that is my kryptonite because I love God of War 3 that is one of my top games that I put at the top of my list and I really hope they remake that game as well for a PS5 version and PC but we're gonna dive into something a little later guys and we're gonna go blow for blow toe for toe so thank you so much and make sure you smash that like that subscribe button click that notification bell so you guys can be notified on all of the new latest and greatest news off in these gaming streets thank you and peace